Scoliosis is a three-dimensional deformity of the spine. So when most of us think of scoliosis, we think of the bend of the spine, but it's also a twist of the spine. And that's what we see on people's back, especially when they lean forward, we see the bump or what is termed the rib hum. So it's two parts. It's the bend, but also the twist. I noticed in dance class when she was in her leotard that she was standing with one shoulder lower than the other. And so when I really looked at it, I saw that her whole torso was curved to one side. So then when we got home, I looked closer and, uh, and it definitely, there was something off. So we went to the pediatrician. Allison was a good candidate for surgery because she had a large progressive curve and has a lot of continued growth. So we know that uh, in someone who is progressing that has a lot of growth and the curve is already large, we know that's going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then cause more problems down the road. So I was hoping that when I got my x-rays that I wouldn't have to do it from the back because it'd be a longer recovery time. Basically, what we'll do is you'll, you will be asleep, then we turn you on your side, and then we make the little incisions on your side, okay, so we make them right along here, kind of right underneath your arm, and then we'll go in, and in the areas where you have the curve, we go in and remove all the discs, okay, okay. and then once we get the discs out, we take little pieces of your ribs, and we kind of grind those up, and then we pack those into the disc spaces, because that's what allow the bone to heal together, what we call fuse, okay. And then we put our screws in, and then once we get the screws in, we put the, the rod in, and then we correct the spine, kind of in a, what we call a cantilever motion. So if your spine's bent like this, and we put the rod in down below, we press down to, to get, that's how we get the, the uh, uh, correction. And then what we do is we have a little tiny device we put in there, we squeeze all these levels together, so we get further cor correction and compression. As we were starting to develop the minimally invasive approach, it came to me one day is, you know, I was taking discs out. Why can I not put the instrumentation and do the entire correction minimally invasively? Traditionally, when the uh, surgery was done with the large thoracotomy, obviously the recovery time was uh, dramatically uh, increased when that had to be done. Whereas with this surgery, the recovery is much quicker. Um, we have kids back to school within two to four weeks after the surgery. Uh, they're off pain medications. I have yet to have a child on pain medications or a four-week follow-up for a minimally invasive surgery. We do all of our surgeries at Sutter Memorial, which is a children's hospital, and it's all set up for, for kids, uh, and they just have a wonderful support system. Your incisions are great. What happened to your rib hump? What? It's all gone. <laughs> you know the rib hump you had? Yeah, the big hump in your back. Oh, it slowly follows the correction, oh, but obviously we got a tremendous amount of correction already. Oh, yeah. That'll once they're healed and fused and everything's over and done with, I release them back to all activities except contact sports. I don't want them playing rugby or football. Other than that, they're released to everything. Um, it's been six months since my surgery, and I've actually been pretty good. Um, I mean, my back gets sore only when I do certain things, but I'm pretty, I'm fine doing stuff. The incisions are really small, actually. I can not really notice them. It's really hard to tell. You need to, to get a good relationship with your surgeon and feel good with them. And you need to know that it's someone who does a lot of scoliosis. Um, I think it's important they're an active member of the Scoliosis Research Society. This is a unique situation that, that I'm in here. Uh, we have a, a group of, of doctors that work together with neurosurgeons, neurologists, orthopedic spine surgeons, and it's, it's a great group. Uh, when we have different cases, we pull each other's specialties in. I work with Dr. Suricello, who's a pediatric neurosurgeon, Dr. Fox, who's a neurosurgeon that does spine surgery, Dr. Schneiderman, who's a orthopedic spine surgeon. We just have this great group of uh, guys with different talents and different specialties and when we each have different cases it may say well this would be a little better for this partner or this partner we, we pull it together.